Heavenly Father, we come before your presence with gratefulness and great appreciation for who you are and what you have done in our lives. We thank you, O Lord, for your goodness and your mercy towards us. We realize, O Lord, that your mercies are new every morning. Thank you that your compassion fails not. Oh, Lord, thank you for your great faithfulness toward us. Oh Lord, even when we are unfaithful uh, with you, oh, Lord, uh, you continue to remain faithful. Thank you, oh, Lord, for the promises of your word. Uh, thank you, oh, Lord, that uh, you've given us unconditional promises. And we just thank you for that. And, then, Lord, we understand that there are even conditional uh, promises uh, Lord, that even if we confess our sins, you're faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us uh, from all unrighteousness. Thank you, O oh Lord, uh, that uh, we can claim the promises of your word. And so we ask for your forgiveness even now that you would restore us to right fellowship with you. And we thank you, O oh Lord, that you've promised never to leave us, nor will you abandon us. Thank you, O oh Lord, that you've given us uh, everything we need for a life of godliness. Uh, Lord, we just thank you for the indwelling Holy Spirit who lives in every believer. We thank you, O Lord, uh, uh, for his ministry in our life, how that uh, he sealed us and he indwelled us. And, O uh, Lord, that he baptized us into the body of Christ. And, Lord, thank you even now uh, that uh, we can be filled and even controlled uh, by the Holy Spirit as we yield to him. We thank you, O Lord, for your word. O Lord, for certainly your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And so, Lord, help us to hide your word in our hearts so that we do not sin against you. We pray, O Lord, that today would be a day of victory and not of defeat. Help us, O Lord, to be sensitive to your leading in our lives. Help us to tune our will to your will knowing that your will is what's best for our lives. Thank you, O Lord, that you're still causing all things to work together for our good and for your glory. And Lord, how we pray for our nation and our nation's leaders. And we pray, O Lord, for churches and church ministries and ministry leaders everywhere. We're praying, O Lord, for missionaries that you would keep them safe, O Lord, as they share the good news of the gospel. Lord, how we pray for those who do not know your son, Jesus Christ, and the pardon of sins. We pray, O oh Lord, that they might hear the gospel, be pricked by your spirit, and be saved. And then, Lord, we're praying for our family. We're praying for our children. Lord, that you would bless them indeed. O oh Lord, help them to keep you first in all things. Uh, we're praying, O oh Lord, that uh, certainly you would order our steps according to your word. Uh, Lord, praying for our sick and our shut-in. Lord, uh, bereaved families, those who are going without, those who are struggling today, whatever the matter may be, Lord, we lay it at your feet. We ask, oh God, that you give them the peace that surpasses all understanding. Help, help them, help us to keep our minds stayed on you. Help us to have a closer walk with you. Lord, we love you. We adore you. We give you glory and honor for you are worthy to be praised. Now, Lord, keep us in the hollow of your hand. Safeguard us from all hurt, harm, and danger. Oh, Lord, we love you and we bless your name. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen.